Hey Purps, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on my dye, my dyeing experiences. I'm actually going to create a whole playlist of my dye issues or dye videos because I do so many. I didn't think I would have this many, but for some reason I think during my whole natural hair journey, the color in the hair is the most exciting part about it, believe it or not. Who would have known? Anyways. So look out for that. There's a whole playlist on all my dye experiences from the beginning of my lock journey until now. And then, of course, more because I'm sure it's not going to end here. With all that said, I just want to let you guys know that I did successfully dye my back locks in the blonde in the light color that I needed. Finally, the third time is a charm. I think the second time I did it, I mixed all the stuff together and like from the first time and apparently like after like an hour it doesn't work anymore so that's the reason why when i put it in the second time which was like months later it didn't take it didn't get lighter almost at all it was like a little lighter but they said after an hour after mixing all that stuff together it's no longer void so <laughs> anyways so i did a fresh new batch i went out and got the whole um, dye kit and I used all of it on my locks although I only dyed the back ones I still put it on I still put it on like all of it on there and they all turn out in the color that I wanted my mom immediately noticed the difference I don't know what you can see when I went over to her house the day after so I was so excited that she noticed it and my hair wasn't even out at the time it was in the curlers and she noticed this so I was like So in December, December 9th to be exact, that's going to be exactly three months from now, or from the time I dyed my hair, I'm going to dye all of those back locks in purple. So there's going to be a lot more purple in my hair. Um, it's safe to say that I'm not going to completely dye my hair purple for my four year anniversary. I think this is going to be okay for now. <laughs> that might change because usually <laughs> I always change my mind on stuff but I like my dark black hair so I don't know if I'm ready to completely give that all up I know it can grow out and I'm going to see black eventually but I don't know I think I'm happy with this mixture for now and I this is the closest that I've gotten to how I want my hair to be in like since I've started my whole dyeing and dread journey like this is the closest so i'm very 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 happy with where i'm at right now so i think because i'm so happy with where i'm at after i dye those in the color i need i'll be good to go i'll be good to go for at least a while i don't think so there's not going to be any drastic changes or updates for my four-year anniversary um lockiversary which is going to be in four, four is that four months I could have sworn it was less time <laughs> in four months for my four-year lock anniversary. All right, so yeah, that's the update. Take a look at it one more time if you want. If you don't, you can click off of the video now. You've seen enough. <laughs> and I guess the next time I'll come back on camera to talk about my dyeing is when I do dye it in the purple and the black. Right? Yes. Which would be about two and a half months from now since I died this a few weeks ago. So thank you so much for watching Perps as usual and I will talk to you soon. Bye! crinkles in it but no actual curls curls I for the most part wear curls almost constantly so it's very rare for me to see someone else with locks 